Hey now, Mike Shimon here, and I'm going to show you how to do a Polaroid effect in Photoshop. So I just pulled my pictures in here that I want to make, kind of the Polaroid effect. Alright, so we have our picture there. Alright, now we just go back here to our square. Make sure your color is on white, and I'm just going to do this and pull it around. Alright, and then you know how those Polaroids are, they have that big bottom there. All right, and you can, one of the things, you, let me do this again, one of the things you can do is you can kind of just space out what you want to, how thick you want that border to be. It's all up to you. And if we bring it down a little bit here. There. Okay, so we have a rectangle there, and I'm just going to change the color of this background so you guys can see what we're doing here is a little bit easier. Okay, so now let's go to our rectangle and like we can make this a little bit bigger if we wanted the, the width there, but we're just gonna hang out here the way it is. We're gonna go to double click on the rectangle layer and go to drop shadow. And one thing I'm gonna do, go to layers and rasterize the layer of the rectangle and then go to path okay so that uh deletes that line and go to drop shadow here and you just want to increase the, the shadow there to what you want it to be all right and then for the image double click on the image and then you can do a uh, inner shadow Choose the direction that you want it to. All right, and then you can choose a stroke if you want for one. I'm going to bring down that passage just a little bit just to give it a little more groove there. Back to this in a shadow. Just take that down just a tad bit. Right, and you can do bevel and boss if you want. Gives it that kind of effect there. But I would probably rather do that on the rectangle. If you want to do that. Bevel and boss. You can see it kind of gives it that little ridge. And take down just a little bit. And you can do the bevel and boss on the image too if you wanted to, depending on uh, what, what you want it to look like. So let's do that and let's just do... Right, and then the drop shadow. I wouldn't do the drop shadow on the image though. Okay, all right, and then what I would do is I would just do a text that you want. So if you just go to text layer, route the text you want. All right, and then you just choose your text. And if you want to make a handwriting text, of course you can download whatever font you want. All right, and then you choose your color. All right, and we're definitely not going with that font. All right, and then what you would do is you would just uh, copy this setting. You can group everything together if you wanted to, but I would just go to the next picture that you wanted. And then I would do the box around it. So again, this could be whatever size, if your image was smaller or whatever it was, 
you could do this uh, to whatever you wanted to make sure the color is white and you just want to go around it and this is where you can make your boxes as big your borders as big as you want all right go enter and then we're just going to go erase on this and it's going to pop this up and rasterize the shape so we can edit it what we're going to do is just go back into uh, group two here we're going to copy the rectangle layer style and paste it and then we're going to copy the image layer style and paste that all right and then the text you can just copy and pull down over that rectangle there all right and then if you wanted to filter the image if you wanted to make the image a little bit more if you want to have an effect on the image you just go to layer style and you can mess with the hue and saturation here of course this is only applying to this applying to the whole thing now but once I put it, once I make it an overlay, it'll apply to the to only this image. All right, so let's do that, and then go to this one, and then go to create clipping mask, and then it only affects that image right there. Okay, and now you just put those all in a layer together in a group, and then you can have your image like this. And then you just turn your other layer on and you have this one again you can you can set the boarding for borders for whatever you want but um but that's how you do the polaroid effect with photoshop so i hope you guys enjoy this video check out my other photoshop tutorials and i'll see you in the next one all right and there's one more thing i want to show you actually too is is i saw something about like photoshop polaroid ping and i want to show you how to do that so if you want to make your 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 Polaroid into a ping and have a blank so you can just add in photos. Here's what you do. You just set it up like this, like you have it. Okay, make it big so you can add your pictures in there. Alright, and then you would select your picture. Alright, select your picture. Oops. Let me select this uh Select the white polar, the white rectangle there. Go Control Shift I, and it should give you the only the image there. All right, on your rectangle, it's only the image. Now, what I'm going to do is go to Delete. If I delete my picture there, there's what's left. Now, it should be known that you probably want to take the drop shadow off. All right, and you want to go to OK. And you're gonna to want to take off that, and you're gonna to want to do that, and then you're gonna to want to image canvas size. Just go 1,000 by 1,000. Okay. Now take our rectangle here, pull it over. And again, since I turn, I wouldn't have turned this if I knew I was going to do this, but I just thought of it as I was ending this video, and I wanted to show you to you guys on how to do it. All right, so if you want to do that, you just go control shift S and you go to save and that can do it there. And then that way you can just add in your images behind it. And they will be you can save it as a ping, okay? And then you can upload it and use whatever image there. All right, guys, so that's how you do that. Hope you got value out of it. <clears throat> See you in the next video.